Oh, welcome back uh, my gardening friends. Well my friends from uh, Vegiga, I think that's how you pronounce it, have sent me a few boxes of these metal uh, raised beds and they say they're high quality, low price, eco-friendly materials, easy to set up, strong and durable, 20 plus years of design life, modular and customizable, I'll show you that, elegant and stylish, it can keep weeds and pests at bay, safe with no soil contamination like paints and non-food safe plastics we use, super corrosive resistant and free from rust for years and of course my raised beds it helps me or reduces the uh, time uh, bending down so let's have a little look so they come nicely boxed up uh, the ones that arrived uh, all that came uh, safely and as you can see uh, they've got the extra cardboard in there and there's nothing else in there I've taken everything out so there's nothing there other than the uh, sticky tape that I'd have to remove so I could use that on my allotment uh, this is recyclable uh, this is the same uh, in uh, all of them shows you uh, different uh, configurations etc gives you a bit of information again it just depends on uh, uh, what you want and how it suits uh, your uh, growing space. It comes with some gloves, which I'm going to try. Uh, we don't always like using gloves while we're using uh, nuts and bolts. And then you've got the plastic protective strip that uh, sits uh, over the top. Uh, one packet of uh, nuts and bolts to suit this particular one and watching uh, another video they had nuts bolts and washers spare some of them come with the bars uh, when you're creating a, a longer bed uh, all these these four bars are all exactly the same this set has uh, some different ones in so you get the uh, screw there to uh, fasten them together and there's different lengths Two different lengths so you've got two of each four in total uh, to be able to customize uh, your your bed let's have a look at, at another one so this is a little tighter in shape so we need two of those to get uh, a full half circle if you know what I'm saying these you need three but we'll show you those that uh, I've already um, put together there's eight panels in this one there were six in another box again you get everything uh, the same but obviously you get extra nuts bolts and washers this is the protective film that's on the creamy colored size so that's something that we uh, will have to throw away but there's very very little you've got the plastic bags I can reuse these little envelopes um, if I need to send anything to anybody so I can reuse those and the plastic bag will have to go um, uh, in, in the general uh, waste uh, I won't be getting these out here but I will be pinching some of those sheets to do uh, something different probably you can customize them to however you, you, you want them so uh, you can play around with them but be mindful that you ensure you have uh, set them down on some nice clean scratch-free surface it says that in the instructions it does pre-warn you so uh, just be very careful you drag one of those sharp edges over the paint and uh, it will will mark it so you must be very careful on how you uh, put these together so this is the first one that I showed you it's got six pieces uh, you bolt them all together as a wasp tries to sting me please don't as I'll swell up like a balloon hang on guys so you end up with something uh, like this but my intentions are to uh, use uh, one of those panels or both of them one either side and I'm going to extend this by one uh, and I'm not sure whether those bars will fit across to stop it from uh, pushing out but 
uh, this is the position I'm going to put this one and uh, literally you need to be able to get access from each side if you're planting this up a nice circular one suit uh, a few gardens if uh, you're redesigning or it suits your uh, space so these smaller ones I say smaller you can come on please don't uh, anti-focus but you can again you can build these as long and as wide as you like so you could use one of those panels in the middle of the screen there uh, to add to here to increase uh, the width uh, similar to this design here but the narrower raised beds uh, suit me fine again if you've got access to both sides there's nothing wrong with building it like that if you visit their site there is a, an affiliated link in the description below uh, you can get um, s all sorts of spares special shapes to build the beds how you would like them so you buy the actual kits and then you buy a few extras uh, to do raised towers castles uh, if you have a look uh, in the description uh, you'll see that link and have a little look and uh, when uh, there's going to be a raffle there is a, a little uh, raffle prize with this and I'll be asking you to go and look for something and uh, I need uh, you to have a look come back with the answer and uh, I'll uh, give you um, a, a raffle ticket So I'm not going to bore you showing you how to put the nuts and bolts in. A lot easier with two people. Make sure you hold them nice and tight. Put a bolt in at the top, bolt in the bottom. Make sure it doesn't uh, crisscross over the corrugation so you don't get those uh, little marks. If you do get any marks, then just um, make sure there's no metal showing. But they're double coated. Have a look and see how they're designed and built. Hello, Mr. Robin. And you can see uh, how uh, good these uh, are and how well they're protected and everything uh, that I said earlier uh, seems to be uh, correct uh, they tell you the truth be very careful how you put them together they do mark uh, very easily and there are sharp edges and uh, you could quite easily get yourself cut again be very careful so you can either have a round one or this shape um, that's the first one I've actually completed wasn't too difficult and uh, I'm just going to try the uh, the bars now see if um, they will reach because they're not really designed for this shape not quite long enough uh, you could always use some threaded bar and uh, put a nut on each end and on the inside etc uh, but I'll uh, see how things go uh, when I uh, fill this uh, well, just a little note on uh, the nuts, bolts, washers. I have noticed that uh, some of the nuts, some of the bolts might not be perfect. So that's probably why you've got the extra ones. Uh, but if you know anybody who's got uh, a thread kit, uh, they might be able to uh, just open those up if you are a bit short. Each pack comes with the um, a little tightener upper. There's a posi drive this side, but I've found that uh, once it bites, you can tighten these up uh, quite easily. And I personally wouldn't over tighten the bends. It does say to tighten the lengths up and then, so if you had two, three or four of those, get those fitted together first and then pop them to the, uh, the corners. But uh, these are holding holds itself but if you do get one that does slip you can use the posi drive um, I'm not going to tighten all this up today I haven't got time uh, but I just want to show you now uh, how to get the plastic off these the easiest way that I've found but before we do we always must open up the packaging and check everything um, see that mark there that marks come out onto uh, the actual sheet itself and down to the uh, galvanizing so 
it's always worth getting everything out and making sure that the trans it's the transport you know what they're like they chuck all the boxes in the back of the vans throw them about and uh, it looks like that's uh, gone through so uh, we'll take the plastic off this one it may not look as bad uh, when we take it off but that's a good reminder to check everything before uh, you start the assembly of uh, each and every box uh, a few people have said how easy this is to uh, take off he says he probably struggles with this one but uh, if you get the uh, corner bring the corner down as far as that bring that back down and then just keep bringing it down It's just caught there. But it does, uh, does come off quite easy, even if it does uh, rip. But this one uh, has been bashed about a bit, so. say it's got a couple of marks there so I should just get a little bit of paint on that but do check your uh, as it arrives um, the only issue I have seen is uh, I had a little bit on there uh, but I, I hid that by uh, uh, the the overlap but that won't be hidden uh, if you've got no issues with a little bit of a mark you can always put it uh, where you can't see it So I've got this one built now. I've took the nut and bolt off there, and uh, hopefully, he says because it's in such an awkward position, I've got my posi dry. And, uh, oh, that's easy. I haven't tightened everything up yet. I think ideally you do need to uh, make sure everything's right. Uh, because it's you, you could put another brace in there, but you've got to put one there and one down the bottom um, Because I've got the extra sets that I might not use uh, I shall put all uh, four in there So that they're, they're all in uh, I did forget to uh, leave a washer there uh, You suddenly realize when you undo the nuts on the others that uh, that makes a, a, a better fit got to tighten that bottom one up I can just move that back out I've got to put some bolts in the bottom uh, but for now we'll just see how well the um, the protective top uh, there's nothing sharp about them but you could catch yourself there uh, so I'm just going to nip all these top bolts up and then we'll slip the uh, the rubber on see how easy that is to put on well that wasn't too difficult when you get to the wider bits you just need to uh, open it up a little bit more but other than that once you uh, get it going and uh, looks like you get uh, plenty of spare or is it cut twice measure once I'll uh, just trim that up but that's uh, nearly all done that's all that sorted apologies for the sunlight in and out and the focusing it seems to uh, go blurry because of the uh, brightness of these uh, wonderful uh, raised beds like I said I've still got to put some bolts in at the bottom now it's rigid I can just pop it to one side and just get my hands underneath uh, obviously these are some of the deeper beds that they do the shallower ones you could assemble quite easy uh, the next one that I'll build uh, when I get time will be uh, an extra panel long so uh, we'll have to find some uh, room for that and of course the rubber that was sent with this won't originally fit so i shall wait till i've done the other beds first and then uh, see what we've got to, to complete this one but of course the difficult part is actually filling these uh, there's uh, what a 30 litre bucket 
so there's a fair old amount of uh, material needs to go in here so in a future video I'll be showing you how to fill these uh, for free uh, using the hi ha ha I can't pronounce it hydraulic column no that's a hydro no don't know but anyway I'll show you how to fill them for free uh, what I'm trying to say will probably be in the description uh, below you know me on words so this is uh, open to everyone in the UK as you could imagine these are heavy bits of kit and uh, the postage will be uh, uh, astronomical for myself so uh, UK uh, let me know where you do live in the world well in the UK shall we say uh, in you know England Wales Scotland Northern Ireland etc wherever we can actually send these uh, cheap enough and uh, in the description below will be where you can go and find uh, what I'm looking for and then uh, if you've got it right I'll give you a raffle ticket and we'll do a footer draw uh, shortly afterwards uh, this one will be open for 48 hours so if it goes up uh, Monday night uh, it'll end Monday night but see in the description the rules and as always uh, I'm just here to review these products. You make your own decision on what you see. If you've liked the uh, content this video, then please why not consider subscribing. And here's a quick look at uh, my uh, allotment growing spaces uh, with just the birds and the bees. and natural noises like strimmers. mold 12 month old made compost compost with the perlite in coco koi Hendrick snow peas from Nick the gardener. Thank you, Nick. Pongos from Bill and Val's allotment. Thank you, Bill and Val. Gonna be busy planting out very soon. The King's Throne. Thumbs up, 
thumbs down for the interaction. Don't mind which. Leave me a comment if you've had those uh, raised beds yourself and have any issues, please leave them in the comments. And uh, why not consider subscribing on the only dry, dry day, second week of May. It's going to be wet again, guys. Need to get planting. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Try for now.